Welcome to the Blessed Hope. Uh, this ministry is by our family. Every night we go through a particular part of the Bible as we study. We, as a family, are inviting you into our study. That the Bible says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I do these studies with my family so they can grow in the Lord, so they can know the Lord through the Word of God, by the Word of God, of the Word of God. It's the very importance. And we invite you to listen, to share, to learn with us too, the Word of God. We ask that you uh, share these, to give full liberty of sharing to your friends, to your family. We ask that you use these videos for the edification of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that you abuse not these videos. They are to work for the Lord Jesus Christ, for edification, for growth. We thank you. Revelation chapter 2 Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that owes the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. We saw that in verse chapter 1. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, how thou canst not bear them which are evil. Thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars and has borne, and has patience, and for my name's sake has a, a, I can't read with my nose here, labored, and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place except thou repent for this thou hast that thou hatest the deeds and nicolaitis which i also hate <clears throat> magic god saying that he that has an ear let him hear what the spirit says unto the churches to him that overcometh will i give to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of god okay let's break this down first you will have Christ, the introduction unto the angel of the church of the Ephesus, write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in the right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. My Bible is so marked. Then you have the I know. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou cannot bear them which are evil. Thou hast tried them which say they are apostles. Then you had the rebuke. Nevertheless, I have something somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. The counsel. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come quickly, and remove the candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. And what you have, you have that doctrine of Nicolaitans, which I hate. But this thou hast now hated the, the deeds of Nicolaitans, which I hate. The reward. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Now this church age runs from 34 about 170 AD this is the Osipot apostolic church this is the church where the 12 apostles are, are working and there are more this is Peter James John Paul uh, the church age we're looking at the, the periods of the church age and tribulation these are churches are yet in our history and there's one church that's present but also they they go to the tribulation the bible says study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needs not to be shamed rightly dividing the word of truth and we're going to run into problems with the last verses of these churches if you're to say today their actual churches are represented 
in a process of history. It's an individual. These are written to individual churches. So now, on to the angel, not pastor. Some people say that's the pastor of the church. So when you get to the, the lad to see in church age, and he says, I'm going to spew thee out of my mouth. I mean, that's not the pastor. God's not eating the pastor and they're going to throw him up. Nor is he doing it with the angel. Each church has an angel as an ambassador, as Michael is the ambassador of the nation of Israel. On to Ephesus. Ephesus means desirable. Desirable. This is the church that begins at Pentecost and worketh to 170 AD. He that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, Jesus Christ, and you match this with chapter 1, Jesus Christ is the one that's in control. He's holding those stars. Those stars in chapter 1, we are told, are the angels of the seven churches. They have to give an account to Jesus on what goes on. I feel sorry for the Laodicean church angel. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. We saw that in chapter 1. I know thy works. Very interesting. I know thy works. I'm just trying to match my notes here. Thy labor. Thy patience. I know thy works. Thy labor. And thy patience. Now let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3. And see what happened with losing their first love. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3. And you see this remarkable. The church in Revelation lost their love. First Thessalonians 1 3. Man, it is a church that any pastor would love to pastor. Remember without ceasing the work of faith. Where's the faith of that first church? I don't see it. Ephesus. They had the works, but there was no faith. And labor of love. They had the labor. But where was the love? And patience of hope. They lost their hope. I mean, they lost, yeah, they lost the hope. They lost that first love of Jesus Christ. So they gave up the love. They gave up the hope. They gave up the faith. Faith, love, and hope is missing from this church. And this is the first church. This is the church going up to 170 A.D., probably 170 A.D. They probably still have the freshness of what happened to Jesus in Jerusalem. I know thy works and thy labor thou and thy patience, how thou canst not bear them which are evil. If you're evil, get out of here. We don't want anything to do with you. We don't want anything to do with evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles. Hi, I'm an apostle. Now these people could come up and legitimately say, Oh yeah, you know, I was baptized with John. Yeah, I saw Jesus in his ministry. Yeah, and I saw the resurrected Christ. You cannot do that today. Even as far as, uh, I say, I'm going to give a count maybe 70 to 170 AD you could not say that definitely because those men that saw the resurrected Jesus Christ would have died out so there are people in this church coming up to say we're apostles and are not there are people today that, that claim to be the apostolic session they are not and this church has found them liars well, imagine the intolerance of this church calling someone a liar. You know what they would say, according to Mark chapter 16? 
You're an apostle? Yes, I am. All right, come with me to the hospital. Let's go. What are we going to do? You're going to heal those people in those hospitals. Oh, no, I'm just going to swing my coat. No, no, you come with me to the hospital. We'll go heal those people. 100%. That's what the apostles did. All right, you're an apostle? Here, drink this. What is it? It's poison. Mark 16. Well, I ain't going to drink that. If you're an apostle, you drink it. It won't hurt you. Here, let me remove the lid off this thing, and I want you I want you to tempt the snake that's in there. Whoa! That's the works of the apostles. And that's what this church would do. You're an apostle? All right, let's 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 see it. Let's prove it. Prove it by the signs. And many of them were found liars. Oh, this intolerant church. There was no false doctrine because it was tried and tested. They had the nerve to put them to the test. We don't do that today. We got people speaking out of the pulpit and misinterpret the Bible and they allow them to keep going. Yeah, it was a good message. Found them liars and has borne, that's carried and supported. Thou has borne and has patience. And for my name's sake, not their names, not the name of the pastor, not the name of the missionaries, not the name of the person, not the name of the of the song person, not the name to be put on an album or on the web page. For Jesus' name's sake, has thou labored? Why are you going knocking on doors? I'm doing it for Jesus Christ because He told me to do. It. Why are you singing that hymn? Because I'm doing it for Jesus' sake. And has not fainted. They have not given up. They have not lost courage. They're still going. But nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. There's a problem. Because thou hast left thy first love. Now look, look. God did not say, you're wrong. Wait till we get to the lad to see in church age and we fit these two together. Oh, we got works, we got mentions, we got... God, God is not rebuking them and what they're doing. It, hey, you guys are doing a great job, but you lost your first love. You lost Calvary. You lost your Be your Bethel. You're doing it for my name's sake, but what happened to Calvary? What happened to the tears? What happened to the sorrowness of the sin? What happened to think? What happened to the Lord's Supper? Wasn't the Lord's Supper to be done in the memory of what Christ has done for us and that he's coming again? What happened? And we all get in this place. We all get to the point that we do forget our first love with Christ. And we need to get it back. We need to go back to Calvary. Often. Remember. That's what the Lord's Supper was. Remember. Do this in remembrance of me, he told the disciples up in the upper room when they had feasted. Therefore, from whence thou art fallen, that's not from grace. What did they fall from? They lost their first love. That's the fall. And repent. Repent of losing that. It is a sin to lose your first love of Christ. It is a sin to forget who you were before you were saved. And I've seen some people and know people. I look at them and like, man, you got your head so far in the clouds. Get back to Calvary. Repent and do the first works in the name of the Lord. Doing it for the Lord. Because you're happy for the Lord. Because you love the Lord. Or else, I will come, and this is not the kind of come you want Jesus to do, unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. And guess what? That church age, that church, Ephesus, is gone. So they didn't get right. You just saw prophecy... From John and is that church there in Ephesus now there may be 
Baptist church is there? I don't know. But is that church there? No, it's not. Is that period church age? No, that period church age is gone. We're in the lie of the scene church age now. Except you repent. You got, you must repent. But this thou hast, okay? That thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I, God, Jesus Christ, also hate. And when you're any kind of public ministry and you deal with the public, you, you would think that Jesus is this warmy little goo goo kind of character, smoking and toting and drinking and just loves everybody. God said, I hate. Now, the Nickelodeons, what is that? I'm going to teach you a little words here. Nickel, that's to conquer. Laos, the people, or laity, the common people, the ones that sit in the pew. It is a doctrine which is, means to conquer the laity. It's a order of clergy, bishops, archbishop, cardinals, popes, reverends. I'm your pastor, and if you don't like it, the more authority on the man and not the man Christ Jesus. These are the wolves in sheep's clothing. This is the beginning of your religious activity. And God hates it. The false apostles that we read about in verse 2 and 3. God hates it. They say that they can trace, according to their opinion, they can trace the Pope's back to Peter. That is a Nicolaitan system of saying that we are apostles and they are liars and God hates it. Right there. God's telling us with the first church of seven, I do not approve of that system that's set up. And we're not even looking at Constantine yet. Constantine shows up between the next church and the, and the, and the third church. There's no Roman Catholic Church yet here. I believe that's 220 AD. So, read more. He that has an ear. You got an ear? Let him hear. Use it. What the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh. Okay, now we got trouble. Let's go to 1 John 4.4. 4. Now we got trouble. Him that overcome, him that endures it to the end shall be saved, Jesus would say. 1 John 4 4. Ye are of God. You of God, little children? Are you gods? And have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So when you run back to Revelation. To him that overcomes. We're talking about a church. Now we put the church back according to scripture with scripture. We put the church in the tribulation period. And I don't mean this church age period. There are seven there are sevens in the tribulation. Seven vials, seven seals, seven bowls. And there's also seven churches. And here they are. A group assembly. A church is a group of assembly. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life. Do you need the tree of life to, to be saved? Is our salvation today in 2017 that the rapture has not happened yet? In order to be saved, do you need the tree of life? No. I'm sorry to say that this verse broke my fellowship with my saved grandpa. Because some book that he read, I don't even know what the book is. We fought over this and never got it right that we are going to partake of the tree of life. 
we don't need it. Our salvation is set upon Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. This is a work to be saved. Eat. Will I give to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of God? That paradise now, when this is written, is in heaven. We're going to see it in Revelation. That is where Abraham's bosom was that Christ brought up. And we see in heaven that there is the tree of life. That tree that God told Adam and Eve, okay, you cannot have. Unless you be eternal wicked sinners, I've got to prevent you from that tree. Now that tree is open to a group of people who have believed on God. It's not my salvation. My salvation is by the blood of Jesus Christ. So we see more. I'm just going with my notes. Now, I know my notes are. Ephesus. It's in Turkey. The goddess Artemis Kybil, the lady of Ephesus, whose temple of Artelium, she's a many breasted woman. You ever check out your Easter, your Estar? That's the same goddess of Easter found in Ephesus and you find in Acts chapter 19 the goddess Diana now this is a church that Paul wrote to this is a church that Paul visited visited that don't sound right. visited and where the silversmiths gave Paul a hard time because they're you know people weren't buy, buying the Dianas they were turning to Jesus Christ getting saved and the dolly market was not doing too good. Thank God. Praise God. That they were turning from the goddesses. Turning to God. Jesus Christ. That is, the, that is the story we find in Acts 19. They are turning to Jesus Christ. Praise God. And yet they lost their first love. They're working. They're doing. They, they've got the evidence. But they don't have the love. They don't have the faith. They don't have the hope. They're saved. Historically, church, they're saved. Tribulation, they're in big trouble. Tribulation, if they lose their first love, unless they repent, they will not give that tree of life and they will not be saved. So these churches, they have double application. Historically, they are the church history that we can study about. Prophetically, prophetically, there are going to be seven periods in the tribulation period. And they're going to be considered salvation as a works. They will follow what Jesus said in his earthly ministry. He that endureth to the end shall. And that's never been our salvation. Paul writes about Demas. Demas did not endure to the end. He gave up. He quit. But he's still saved. In the tribulation period, if you give up, if you faint, that's it. You lost it. Man, you, you ever want to witness before the rapture happens? If you ever want to have a charge, say, why should I witness to my family? Why should I witness to my co-worker? Why should I witness to anybody? Man, that tribulation period, if you don't do it exactly as God said to do it, you die and go to hell. Today, you just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. What a wonder God has given us. And we're going to break these seven churches in, in, in seven different times. And I'm going to try to get as much notes as I can. But the first church is Ephesus. That church ended in 70, 170 A.D.